Hey guys, it's Ricky here from Gamers International and I know it's been a while since our last video and today I'm going to show you all how to repair your Max West tab whether the series be from 7000, 9000, 3000, 5000 whatever the series may be I'm going to show you all how to repair that and by repair I mean should one day you power on your Max West tab and it's stuck on this screen it's really frustrating because it doesn't move forward or anything like that. So stick with us and I'll show you how to do it. Okay guys, for this tutorial, we'll be needing one of these memory chips. So, what you can do if you don't have the actual uh, full chip, what I did here, I used the micro SD and I put it into the SD adapter to use a laptop or you could use one of these devices it is it's one of these card readers you could use right so it is recommended if you could get a laptop it's recommended that you use a laptop with a uh, card reader slot if you have that remember that you need to use a micro SD it needs to be done onto the micro SD so it is recommended that you get the micro SD and then you get the adapter it normally comes with it so that shouldn't be a problem so once you have the devices ready you need to head over to the max west tab uh, website which is maxwesttelecom.com and when you're over there you need to look for the downloads tab it's on the top right hand corner and right, can show you that right there all right so once you once you find that download section you would see a list of the different downloads comes up so what you want to do, you're going to look for your tablet version, whether your version is a 700, a 9, a 5000, whatever the version may be, you're going to look for that version specifically for your laptop. You're not going to download the 700 and your laptop is a 900. You're not going to download a 900 and your laptop is a 700. It's not going to work vice versa. You're going to get the correct version for your laptop. Otherwise, I'm not responsible if you damage this. So guys, stick with the version of your laptop don't think that if you download a higher version you're gonna get more features no it doesn't work like that it works with what is compatible with your device so once you don't once you once you come up to the download site and let's say you are a 7150 you go ahead and you click that and it asks you to save or open you go ahead and hit save so once you hit save and it's finished downloaded you need to take this little SD card you need to jack it and enter your, into your device Alright, so once that is jacked in, you just close off, make sure that you format the card before attempting to use it. Let the card be clean so that you don't run into any errors or anything like that. So once it's clean and your download is finished, go ahead and open up your download. It'll error format, so you just double click and they would ask you to extract. And once extracted, you'd, you'd be able to get all the required files. Alright, so once, once that is finished and you guys could see over here, if I could just move in a little bit all right let's see can you see what is going on here once you open up the file you got three choices you got a, a Phoenix card reader you got the instructions and you got your tab that uh, the, the model of your tablet in an image folder in an image file so what you're gonna do you're gonna open up Phoenix card you're gonna scroll down and you're gonna look for the Phoenix card application it looks like this you guys seen that? It's a little green icon that you gotta get. Alright. So once you once you find that, just open it up. The chicken box, which is your confirmation, you go ahead and you hit yes. Once that is done, press the back button, minimize, look to the bottom, the this is what the Phoenix card so far should look like and if you have different disk disk by disk I mean like flash drive or any other external devices jacked in please pull them out you only want to have uh, your micro SD adapter with your SD card jacked in so once you have done so you go ahead and you click on the image file when you click on the image file you need to browse to where the download 
to where you had uh, the, the downloaded file and where it, it had extracted so once you have that once you have browsed that you're gonna go ahead open it up open up the folder open it up and you're gonna click on the image file you would see tab and you would see your model of your your tablet whether it's a 7100 you would see tab 7100 so whatever whatever version that you downloaded that's the version you're gonna see here so you when you click on it you go ahead and you hit open and when you hit open you would see that it accepted the file right once it accepted the file you're gonna the correct drive right so what are you seeing now you saw that if I left uh, if I left the device on I didn't get any option to do anything right so if I pull the device out right I now have the option to burn so you see that there right you see that the burn option come up so make sure you don't have any other devices checked in because once that is done you go ahead and you click the burn button okay guys so we see that uh, the files had finished right into the disk uh, just to make sure when you uh, when you when you put it to burn when you click on the burn button and it writes to the SD card remember it takes some time so it, uh, you could read from the log over here so that you would know uh, if you do get an error on any certain interval you could just tell me which is the the error and where did, where did it come from and I could probably explain to you why you get an error and what we could do to resolve it so your next step would be to take the, the SD card out and once you have the SD card out right, you gotta pull the, the micro SD out of the adapter now and when you pull that out of the adapter you're gonna pull if your tablet is on and it's only with the max look you're gonna pull it off and take that press the power button just keep holding it it would eventually power off all right and now you're gonna take your micro SD card that we have here I'm gonna put it into the tablet it goes this way all right so just push that in there and now you're gonna press on the power button right there and hold it all right and observe guys it is about to repair and reload your max west tab 9100 or where, whatever the version may be that you all are, you are using to get back to the original state again keep in mind it's 300 megabytes it's almost 400 megabytes and it needs to write onto the system and it's from a little small little SD card not really too much uh, speed so bear with it if it takes some time again just like the burning process don't get angry don't feel frustrated you could probably go and you can get something to drink if you want and you can come back and when you, by the time you come back it would be finished unless you have something to drink right next to you then that's crazy unless it's bears or something like that then and yeah i'd probably understand if, if it's that All right, so right now guys, we're on the halfway process. All right, so at this point, at the halfway logo, it would uh, it would take a little bit. It's moving, but it's moving slow. So just bear with it, give it some patience, and you'd see it will be going up. Plus the bar looks pretty cool. All right, so when you see that the card is okay, it automatically reboots. If it does not automatically reboots, pull off the device, check back the SD card in, and you'd be okay so now that it goes on it's not going to pour on by itself so what you got to do you're going to take the card out now all right when you take the card out go ahead press on the the power button power it back on there's a little android boy and he's just waiting to power on all right so remember this is your first boot so it will take a little bit longer than your uh, regular boots that you had with your tablet. The first boot is because of the initial setup that needs to be done before you use your tablet. 
right so yes I'm keeping this on so you guys could see that uh, everything that's happening and that uh, in case you do get an error you would know what to do when and where all right so you guys see that right so unlock and that's it let me just zoom out of this all right so that's it guys on how to repair your Max OS tab, whatever version it may be, to back to factory settings. Alright, so you can see that everything works. Alright, um, your system is fine again, it boots, it works. Alright, there's a it picks up the Wi Fi, everything. Everything works back as normal much for watching like subscribe share and keep an eye out for this channel because there'll be a lot of more videos coming soon and I don't want you all to miss it so subscribe and you can also favorite these videos should you have any issues thank you all so much for watching and have a great day this was Ricky from gamers international everyone take care